In this video we continue the series on Spring OAuth 2 security. You can find the link in the upper right corner. Today we are going to change the JWT access token to an opaque token. In this video we continue with the code of part 12. You can find this video with the link in the upper right corner. To change the JWT access token to an opaque token we need to change a small part of the code. We start with the code in the security config of the Spring Authorization Server. We created a bean of type token settings. In this bean we need to configure the setting access token format. We modified the OAuth2 token format to reference. We also created a bean of type client settings, but for now we have not configured any settings here. Both beans are logged into the registered client. Now we can move on to the Spring Resource Server code. In the application properties of the Spring Resource Server we have the following changes. Spring Auto Configure Exclude is needed to make Spring Security not create a default user. The three settings are the data of the registered client, the address of the introspect endpoint, the client ID, and the client secret. The latest changes are in the security config class of the Spring Resource Server. First we read the data from the application properties file. Issuer URL, client ID, and client secret. In the security filter chain, the OAuth2 resource server is configured with Opaque token Introspection URL And introspection client credentials We can now launch the three apps and look at the result As usual, you can find all the code on GitHub The link is in the description below the video After we have started the Spring Authorization Server the Spring Resource Server and the Spring OAuth2 client, we can check the operation of the project. We start in the home to log in. After we log in with user, we are the expected result in the browser window. Welcome home and the date with time of the Spring Resource Server. 